decided to call the album Heal because that was our main message when we created The Rose together. We believe that music is healing itself, no matter if you're just listening to it, writing it, or playing it. We also believe that it's a universal language. Just our main message of doing music is healing, so that's why we decided to call it Heal, go back to our very first message for The Rose. At the end of the day, it was what we felt, and we felt like we needed healing too. And generally, people always, no matter what time, they, they always have something to heal from. So we're just making a tool to heal with. Hey MTV News, we're The Rose, and these are our top five things we've learned about ourselves during our careers. Something I learned about myself is that I am lazy and that I want to be lazy. And why? Because my biggest hobby is sitting down and doing nothing and not having any schedules. So I think that's where I find myself wanting to be lazy and like being lazy. That's what I've realized over the years. Any working environment, if you have a nine to five job or if you are working from home, you just can't be lazy. This life doesn't, uh, uh, it's not, it doesn't make you able to be lazy, which is so sad. Why can't we all just be lazy? Like I just want to sit down and not have to worry about what I have to do or think about it and uh, just I could do it as I feel. If I want to lay down for 10 hours, I could do that. Recently, I actually slept for like 10 hours straight for two days and it feels great, yeah. The one thing I learned yeah. about myself, change the purpose. Purpose, yeah. yeah. I mean, why I started music and why I'm doing music because <laughs> manna <laughs> because <laughs> because good looking and for some girls <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah everybody starts music yeah. because uh, yeah, yeah but now um, yeah. I want to give someone good good influence yeah yeah and then good emotion and Healing, heal each other, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I learned about myself is gratifying small things rather than searching for something big. And well, it's a really great um, code every time, but I never got to actually feel it or learn it. But over five years and like when we were writing this album, we learned a lot and yeah, that's the one thing I learned. We're getting older, we're getting old, and um, <laughs> I think definitely age helped me <laughs> learn that. Maybe time helped you. Time? Age. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's a way better way. We like being no, older. No, no, yeah, we yeah. love being old. I mean, older. yeah, we're aging, and I like it. You know how it's, it's, it's getting better, you know? <laughs> okay, I don't want to say it, but like, you know, cheese or... <laughs> Milk or you know, it, oh. every time you age, um, it, it, <laughs> like wine too. Yeah, wine or something. <laughs> Kimchi, okay. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I learned about myself is I'm not perfect. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Especially these days. Mm. I feel like if anyone beside my beside me, like my parents, friends, my members, and our partners, everyone. I cannot do the music again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I realized that. So I'm not perfect. I need people. I need good people. So yeah, that's the one thing I learned. Ooh. <laughs> the last thing we learned as a group throughout our career is that each of us individually, we are the main characters of our own life. However, in other people's lives that we are not the main characters. And understanding that really puts into perspective of how things shouldn't be so serious. It can be serious within us and that's okay. But to, uh, and to other people, it doesn't, we don't have to be everything. And other people don't care as much and other people will forget whatever it is that they were they had, uh, they were judging or whatever. So we just uh, really decided and want to enjoy our life the way we want to personally, because it doesn't matter what other people are gonna think, as long as we're not harming anyone, right? That's what we've realized. So 
We are the main character of our own life, Being, but not yours. Yes. <laughs> we started with Childhood because we felt like it was a great intro to the album. It was a song that anybody could relate to. We all have childhoods, good or bad. <laughs> and the early childhood traumas are the longest one that carries within your life and kind of shapes who you are. And sonically as well, it was very in, in par with uh, The Rose's sound and what we wanted to present as kind of this new chapter. For the idea of the childhood uh, music video, we got pitches with the idea of it being we're all born naked. We just wanted to present and show the idea of how we're all born equal. We're not born with clothes, we're not born, you know. When we uh, actually, when I wanted to do that idea of being naked, not everybody agreed. Well, yeah, it's it's unexpected to somebody, so yeah, yeah. We, maybe they wanted to, to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so to somebody like... The being Jay careful is yeah. not a bad thing, so... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's why we talked about it. Yeah. And he finally gave his mind yeah. Um, actually <laughs> shooting for like two that idea actually. Yeah. It was supposed not to very, be more naked. Not very age 19 content. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be way more, uh, the <laughs> I, first initial idea, right, was yeah. supposed to be way more that. Uh, <laughs> we had to make some compromises and I think I'm, I'm kind of glad we did. <laughs>